Good one this year, and welcome back to Don't Starve. We are currently at day five. I'm I'm not so sure why I didn't I didn't even play it uh, while you guys were gone. Uh, <laughs> what happened? Uh, I mean this is episode three. We should be at episode. All oh, right, that's right, because I false recorded like two days in. Anyways, yeah, welcome back. This is day five to our adventures as Wilson. The gentleman scientist. Uh, what we're gonna do today? I, I mean, it's not much really. Day five is gonna go. I thought we were gonna destroy the tall bird. I, I think it despawned. Uh, I checked the nest, so I just grabbed the egg and ran. See, uh, we just cooked the egg, so that's how it works. Um, so we got a lot of stone. That's great because I want to make a stone wall. Uh. I think that the main thing that we must do is to just explore and look here we go a touchstone there we go now what this would do is when we die we'll just resurrect here so that's amazing it's freaking amazing man oh okay we bet we should we should get going so at least now we know that the touchstone is right there. We can use it to our advantage if we want. Also, we set up base camp right around here. So we are pretty far from home. <laughs> we are pretty far from home. Yeah. I, I, I always don't like this when it's sanity. Sanity increases when it's dark. I mean, when it's dark, I mean, do you guys really decrease, like, do you actually, like, see things dark? Well, I don't know, I, I've always tried to maintain my sanity at an all-time high, but uh, some of you suggested that actually if you put it, if you, like, put the sanity, like, really, really low, um, more and different interesting monsters will come out. Now, I don't know how you, how you describe more and interesting. I just... Uh, I don't want to explore that region of interesting because if I do, something really terribly bad may happen to me. So I don't want that. That's it all. Man. So, um, actually, what we can do is we can anchor, anchor. We can set up uh, traps. Uh, we'll just. Clear inventory space, and we just set the trap here. Also, I'm gonna pick up the reed. And what I want to do is, I want to probably have a a, a bee box or something, or I don't know what it's called. And I heard that if you drop a tall bird egg, it will hatch into something. I don't know if I want to drop it or cook it, because apparently I'm kind of hungry. I just drop it near the fire then. And, uh, ah, there we go, it's hatching. It's hatching. There we go, it's so amazing life, you know. Now, I'm not an expert at bird hatching. But apparently, if you hatch a bird, you can keep it in your bird cage. I don't even know if this is the right idea. Just pick, just pick it up. We we can still eat it, so that's good. <laughs> um, now, oh, yes, guys, look, up me engine. Do that, do that, do that. Good. Nice, awesome, great. Now. We can actually build some structures now along with it. Um, pig house. We can go back to the touchstone. Use the hammer to deconstruct the, the thing. Uh, we still got a good 60% on that hammer. Uh, we can also make a... I don't want rabbit hatch. Cobblestone bird cage. Yeah, okay, so what I want to aim for is the bird cage now. Uh, and to do that, it requires two papers. And I don't have any 
uh, more people. Fire is pretty low. There. I always like it pretty high so that, you know. So I, don't, I, don't, I don't even know what's going on with the tall bird. But it looks like it's sweating or something. It's 40 degrees Celsius. There. So it was sweating. Uh, okay. So anyways guys, as promised, I will return with episode 4 shortly after this chopping of wood. So thanks a lot for watching guys. This has been Triple Fun Does. And um... Hold on. And um... Bye! Come back! Come back!